Hello, today we're taking a look at Super Photo Cut. This is an app for the Mac that allows you to cut out those backgrounds on images, allows you to focus in on essentially you can drag the photo one end and the other end, uh, the background, you can take out the background essentially and isolate just a certain subject within your photo. It's really simple to use, really easy and a clean interface. As you can see here, you have both uh, the left and right pane, the ability to drag the photo and drag the background or isolate the background to have a sort of transparent photo. In the top left, you have the ability to open files, save files, of course, your rectangle tool, which you're going to take a sec uh, look at in a second. You have your markers here, which allow you to kind of clean up the photo here. Uh, and of course, the ability to turn on the transparent, uh, you can mark the transparent area and or clear your markers and adjust your marker size. We'll talk all about that here in just a second. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and import my photo here. I have a picture of a cat that I'm gonna drop in. And as you can see here, automatically it will take the picture and then cut out the background depending on this rectangle here that it has determined. So it's gonna focus on your subject. Now keep in mind, when you're using this, the smaller the square you use, the better the photo cutout effect will be. Because if the square is too big, essentially, the object won't be as clear because it's trying to detect too much. So when you upload the photo to the app, you also want to make sure that um, the, the more plain uh, background you have and the more concise background you have, it's easier for it to detect that versus you know something that has a ton of complex stuff going on in the background. So you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and just isolate the tail one, like just the cat's head here. So I'm going to go ahead and close it in again, make it smaller here to kind of make it more precise. Just You can take any one of the four corners here and just kind of drag it to your liking here. And you can see here I'm closing in on the cat's head and you can see it did a really good job of just isolating the cat's head and taking out all of that grass here. Now that being said, if I want to clean it up a little bit, I can use these marker tools for example, like the red one right here, and just color right here. And you can see there it cuts out perfectly and then you can see I have a tiny bit right there. And right there I have a perfect cat head now and it's that simple and that easy. Now you also have some other tools, like I said, you can add, you can add uh, a mark the foreground area, I should say, uh, versus taking or marking the background area and taking that away. Um, of course, you can clear any of the marks you made. You can adjust the marker size to get those bigger, uh, the bigger pen size or smaller pen size to allow you to fit into those little tighter areas or whatever it may be. At the bottom here, you have the ability to, you can see, you can see your photo in the one-to-one, -one, the normal view. You can adjust those. You can also, of course, this is the transparent background we're using, but you can change the background color. So if I wanted to add a background color to the cat here, you can see I can do all sorts of fun colors and add a custom background. And of course, when I'm all said and done here, I would hit the save button in the top left, and then Super Photo Cut will then export my image. And I can just say cat.png, save it, and then I am good to go. And then now I can even uh, open that photo if I want here, and you can see the same thing. I now have that cat photo exported. Super easy, all done with, of course, Super Photo Cut for the Mac. So definitely worth checking out. Again, Super Photo Cut.